Hello friends and welcome back to my Caesar and Gaul campaign for Total War Rome 2. I am Autogadius Magnus and as you can tell I have gone through several turns actually I can't remember exactly how many, quite a few actually. Um, nothing really huge happened, it just um, just putting down a bunch of revolts. You can see a little bit has changed. Uh, I can't remember exactly where I was on my last episode but we're now at War of the Parisi. We've taken much of this. This is all our land again. Okay, We've retaken everything. Uh, hopefully we have now gotten everything under control. Um, I just was recording a battle out here at Agendicum. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, Agendicum. Or D Agendincum. Agendincum. Okay, whatever. Again, again, in co whatever. Anyway, um, but I didn't, I was not able to show it to you because I had some issues with my earphones and I'm still having issues with my earphones, actually, to tell you the truth. I'm actually functioning with only one earphone that is working, so the sound quality for me is a problem, but I have checked and it was not a problem uh, for uh, the sound recording for you. So uh, again, I'm probably going to have to buy, I've been saying this for several months now, I'm going to have to buy a new microphone and a new new headset and whatever, so it is going to happen, it's just I have to get together the funds here. Uh, for some reason I lost a group of cavalry, I don't know exactly how that happened. This have happened when I auto resolved a battle or something and I didn't notice. Oh, sorry, the battle was actually outside of Bibracte, not not again to come. Um, and I have actually did go to Britain and fought a battle right in this area. You can see the the crossed gladiuses here, the gladii. Uh, I fought a battle, won it very very convincingly, and then came back because I don't really wish to fight uh, on Britain just yet. I would like to be able to get control of things in my south a tad. But again. My main focus is going to is remains remains, uh, fighting in the north, mostly pushing through in the north. This is why Kaisal is in Lexoion, and I will be pushing forward from there and holding more in my south. That is how I see it anyway. Germania Inferior and Lutetia, you're doing well actually. I could tax you. I could not get much money, but I could still tax you and make two hundred more coin. And public order is still doing relatively well. Germania Inferior, I have pulled that legion out. That legion is the one that is down here. I have mostly gotten the public order under control. I'm just recruiting a few cheap units to hold public order at uh, somewhere above zero. And then I'll be using this army, this legion, to be taking Lutetia. Then we will have basically a solid wall all the way along here, and I'll be able to combine my forces to push forward. Now the only problem is that if you look at politics, I am again getting very close to a civil war. I do not know if that means I'll be fighting Pompey, or if that means I will be f putting down fucking rebellions again. If I am putting down fucking rebellions again, I probably will not be showing much of that, just because you've seen me put down so many rebellions and say lots of dirty words and whatnot. But anyway, I'm going to end this turn. We'll see what happens. It's very, very surreal to have... Uh, Sound in only one ear. I don't know what it, what I mean by surreal. It just sounds very. It just feels very strange to have sound in only one ear, and it seems like all of my sound is getting very quiet. Parisi want a peace deal. I will accept that if you become a client state. And you will not. So I will not accept that. I'm going to destroy you and take your lands because I hate you. British Confederation, you go right ahead and fight me. I am not concerned by you. I destroyed your army in Brit, Brit Southern Britannia, and I will do it again. In northern Gallia, if I must. So, the Pale Fawn, Ten Gravitas. Ooh, okay, they were happy. Oh, Gynas, you fucking weirdo. Okay, so we'll be taking Lutetia, and I don't think that should be a problem. They do not appear to have much there. Very small, they're suffering attrition. We will just take it and move on. So, finally, some action for this Legion. Taking Lutetia again. It was ours, then we lost it. Now it's ours again. And we will not loot, we will only raise. Looting, I think, causes far too many public order problems. So now, what shall I do? I wish I had more money. Fix, but I'm going to do that. Yeah, we're going to not. I'm just going to just fix this right now. This and this. Okay, so now we have control of Lutetia. And we have control of that entire province. So I could take... Oh, you sons of bitches are behind me. Oh, God damn it. How did that happen? They are suffering attrition, though. I don't know how much they... They do have some men left. If they attack me at Dura Koteran, I'm going to have to again send the fucking army back. It just gets a bit redundant, and it gets... I mean, I get tired of 
filming just I mean I'm sure you're tired of watching me going back and forth and back and forth I would like to be able to push forward if possible if at all possible the Namnikis are extremely powerful actually I don't know are they powerful than I am more powerful than I am they probably are not but it should be close yeah they're about a third of my power by the look of it so they will be a formidable force the Carnutes uh, rose up when I had to for strategic purposes leave um, um, Kinnabum. And we are still at war with these sons of bitches, but I'm just holding down here for now. The Allobroges, the Vacanti, the Wakanti have not fought me, but the Allobroges have declared war on me just to allow me to sue for peace and then get money, so it's very strange, but I will, I will hopefully, I wish I had one more legion. I would solidify this area, basically. I would take care of these fools and take care of these fools, and then I would have a very solid block of all of Western Gaul in my control, but Again, we'll have to see how that how that um, works out. It'd be much easier to defend, but I do not know exactly how that will work. And they are going to be landing fucking armies in my rear again somewhere. Oh, they're raiding. That's what they're doing. You sons of bitches. This is a fleet. It is a fleet, so I cannot really do much about that. I could raise a fleet, but that's just more money than I have. So we'll have to tolerate that for the time being. I probably will send Caesar... If I can get control of this area and be able to raise another legion, then I will send Caesar to the the north. It will probably attack from this area and just sweep through and destroy them all and force them to come back and defend. So anyway, I could move forward. I probably should move forward, but the question is where to move forward. I have all of this land. I could try to take Avarakund. This legion is mostly healed. They do have a freaking spy here, which I hate. Causing me all sorts of problems. And Alpino, you're doing okay. Belgica. Again, they come. I could move you to where? Kennebum. I could retake Kennebum. Now, would that leave me open to any attacks? Not if I take Avaricun. So I will see. I will move on Kennebum. Mm -hmm. House public order here. Negative to I'll have to wait because of goddamn public order problems. I really would like to push forward, but public order is a huge problem. I could say fuck it. And I might say fuck it, but that is just too high of a public order issue. And with these idiots in my rear, I'm probably going to have to wait. So let us end the turn and see what the Parisi do. Carnutes, you wish to sue for peace. Probably because I've been repeatedly kicking your, repeatedly kicking your ass. Client state. No. Namnities, Tarbelli are moving forward again. They're trying to get behind. God damn it. Nelly. I will accept that, actually, Unelli. They've accepted that. I'll, I will kill you later. Oh, got another goddamn army. Two armies in my rear again. Son of a bitch. I don't know how they are constantly able to get those armies behind me. Now I'll have to move back again. Go and take them out again. How's Bagacum? Positive one. Alright. Matetia, I will have to leave you for now. So I'll probably have to retake this settlement. Suffering from attrition? How does that work? Okay. Vigilia, I have to move you back because I want to be able to find that damn army. I probably shouldn't have moved you back. I probably should have moved someone else back, but it's okay. We'll figure it out eventually, maybe. Carnutes are leaving. Prometheus Darabo. Aquilo. Where is that goddamn army? I'm fucking here. Son of a bitch. Primogenia, we could... Now that we have control of this area, I could move down here, and I probably shall. I'll probably attack... That would be a very difficult battle, but... I do have the horse to do it with. Now. And the forces, so I could attack you. I'm going to wait, though. Get everyone else in order. Oh, I could reach you. And they are... Oh, damn. Yeah. 
Yes, and I don't even think I'm going to fight this. I could, but I don't want to. Are you serious? We couldn't kill them all? Fuck me. Now they are really loose in our rear. Oh, crap, and the Brack Day is open to attack. Well, that's wonderful. I should have fought that, but Bambushes have not gone very well in this campaign. What the fuck is this? Transports. They are trying to attack me. Okay, well, you can come and get it, bitches. I could send you back. I do not want to. I would rather have you hold on to Messalia. As soon as I start filming again, as soon as I start recording again, then all the problems, once again, come into plain view. And so I will probably attack kind of them just because I'm an asshole like that. Let us go back up to Kaizeo and let us now take this, this settlement by destroying these two armies of the Namnites. And I'm going to fight this. Yeah, it's so weird hearing all this bang, boom, boom, boom when they're... When you have only one ear that's working in your headphones, so. Anyway, please excuse me if I'm a little bit disoriented by that for the uh, at the beginning here. This is a wonderful fucking legion. Oh my god. So amazing. Fog. No. Fog. No. Try. Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do, actually, is I think there... If I remember correctly, the settlement is... Yeah, back here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... At this little corner, I'm going to put my... I'm going to, I'm going to put my army on this little corner area here. And I probably have some cavalry in these trees. And potentially even some infantry. I do not know. I keep on saying I'm going to rebuild, re restructure this army, but I never do because I'm so fucking busy. And Caesar's on the front line all the time, so... I don't really get much of a chance to bring him back to... You know, get my troops in my recruiting places. Now, I could build recruitment places, but that tends to have a problem uh, with uh, public order. So it's kind of a vicious vicious cycle here. All right. Stronger cavalry units. I'll put you on my... Hmm. I may use you as an ambushing force. And so I probably shall. So we will be battle number five. we will be battle number six on my right. I'll put you battle number seven on my left. Just to protect a flanky flank. And yeah, I'll probably put you where? Back out of harm's way. Ooh, a nice little depression in the ground here. That would hide you very nicely, I think. What if I put you there? <clears throat> this little depression. If not, I'll just move you back to the trees. You out of view. You are not. Okay, they can see you somehow. Let us now move you into the trees. Will that hide you? It won't. Really. It should, but it does not. Well, that's disconcerting. Anyway, I'll leave you there for now. The rest of my army, I'm going to put you... F Wait. Oh, my infantry. I haven't put you into battle group yet. Okay. So infantry, let's put you into double Aggies again, as is per usual. And, let us see. Let's go up on the terrain here. I'm going to focus on that corner and that tower as well. And basically just hammer on this army as much as possible before the reinforcements come. And then be aggressive probably by actually moving in after destroying hopefully at least one tower, the tower closest to me. I will try to hold with my left more than likely. I'm guessing their reinforcements will come from somewhere. If you're looking at the tactical map. Uh, wait. What the fuck? This is confusing. Should be... I can't even see the goddamn... What? Yeah, my men are here. They're probably going to come from somewhere then over... Yeah, in this area over here on the tactical map from behind. So back in here. And, yeah, sorry about that. I got a little bit, again, disoriented, as is, as is usual. Um, but anyway, that is what I'll probably do. And use my right to try and flank and crush. So I cannot believe that, that I cannot hide those cavalry. What the fuck? Oh, that's my skirmishers. Well, son of a bitch, what's going on, Autogalius? And let's put you like this on this flanky flank. For now. I can always move you around. Okay. First, before I get, get going here, let us take you out of this battle group now. People ask, why do you do that, Atogalius? You're a crazy person. I am a crazy person, okay? But the reason why I do that is because it puts them into double Ackies without having to do too much extra work, so... All right, let us have you pummel the fucking hell out of these fucking idiots. You can 
pummel the hell out of what? This thing? You can pummel the fuck. Okay, you can wait, actually, to pummel the fuck. Okay. They should be approaching from, again, that area. Move all of you friends forward. And my cav, except a cav that is in hiding in plain fucking sight, I guess. Well, that's a problem. Have you walk, however? Why can you not? Can I not hide you? What the hell? I should be able to hide you. You're easy to hide. The, the brush not thick enough yet. Okay. I do have some something coming out here. Oh, spears. The general, which is what? Heavy horse, noble horse. Oh shit. Okay. Where are the reinforce? Damn, are you s serious? Really? They're coming from over here? How does that happen? The settlement is way the fuck over... What? Oh, crap. Okay. Well, that sucks. Let me take my second line... Uh, my second line. And we're going to have to do a little bit of a whoop de doo here. A little bit of a kink in our line here. That's going to get kinky. We'll be back here. You friends. Where are you? Number seven. Let's pull you this way. Or six. Sorry, not seven. Pull my skirmishers directly behind this line of infantry. This is going to get messy. But it is necessary. And I'm going to need these groups of cavalry. They're not hiding anyway, so let me pull them over this way now. Let us crush as many of these freaking morons as possible. Yeah, with a, without a uh, tactical reserve, I'm going to be in a bit of a bit of a bind here on my right. So let us quickly get into position, friends. A little bit of a kink again. I'm going to pull you actually probably back like this. Making a long line, long thin line. I don't like making a long thin line. I like to have depth. But I can't use depth right now. <clears throat> they are appearing to try to merge their forces, which is kind of stupid. Because guess what I can do, guys? I can be aggressive and turn this way then. And that's what I'm going to do. You don't think I'm going to do that, but I am. And I am hammering you with my ballista right on your flank. And can you hit their general? You can. And they're trying to join forces and sandwich me, and I'm not going to allow that to happen. I'm going to get piecemeal destruction upon them. Let's cut them off, then. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm going to try. They are totally ignoring my army. Let's get in there. What the fuck are you firing at? You can fire here. Do not hit my men. Stop! Ooh, we almost killed my own men there. Can you fire here? You can. Actually, can you fire back here? You can. Okay. We're stuck in here. Try at least and destroy as much of that army as possible. Let's pull you this way now. And another cohort this way. And you can actually form up here and hopefully catch some of these idiots. Your general is wavering. Very nice. If I can beat the piecemeal, I will. No problem with that. Now they're going to have to form up, you see? See how that works? Nice. Lovely. Ballista, let's get you stop firing. Can you not kill my men? Okay, fire. I'm going to reform you. Pull you this way now. And hopefully fire upon this army, because that is going to be the army that I think is going to cause me the most trouble. Let's now get you stuck in here. Pull this cohort over to this side now. We aren't not going to be able to destroy their entire army. Uh, that, that, that first force. Oh, I don't have cavalry languishing back here yet. Shit. Okay. That cohort is going to get a bit strung out. But we are destroying much of their army right now. These groups, we could hit them with our ballista, just to say hi. And so I shall. This cohort. Probably pull you back as well. I will make a second line then, if I can. Now they are coming to attack us. Is that... Oh, shit, I got a cohort that's left in the, out in the open. We're going to have to hit you. Crap. Thankfully, you are not in too much trouble. Now they're pulling back. Okay. This group is now attacking me. Let's turn and attack. You friends can pull back now. And cavalry, let us hit these idiots. Cav, he's my general. Okay, let's move you this way now. Form up and make a second line here. You friends are still fighting. You should win that pretty easily, pretty handily. 
And all of you are coming back to make that second line, which I need very, very much. Let us pull you now towards the center. Three cohorts towards the center. Oh, shit. You're getting stuck in. Fuck me. Oh, I'm losing control of my army. A little bit overzealous here. I'm going to lose some men. Let's see if we can rescue this situation with our Onager and Ballista. Okay, we're going to have to send this line forward to rescue that cohort, so let us do that. And we are going to get outflanked, are we not? Yes, we... Oh my god, yes we are. Well, it is what it is. Let's get stuck in. <clears throat> have to rescue that cohort. And we're going to have to use you now to protect flanky flanks. Let's take two cohorts on my right flank. Cavalry, let's pull you back. Skirmishers, I'm going to need you to help me protect this flank while my men get stuck in. Hopefully we're not firing on our own men. We are, which is a big problem. So Ballista, can you get firing here? And you can get firing here. Yeah, we've taken some losses here because of my Ballista, I think, more than anything. Another cohort running around doing nothing here. Shit. Okay, you are beating them up here. What is this? Light horse, let's go and kill them. <coughs> okay, Ballista, I'm not trusting you anymore. Let's have you stop. We are stuck in now. My right flank is in trouble. A lot of trouble right now. Come on, cohorts, get over here. Boom. Pull you over here. This is a messy battle. Messy battle. Okay. Cavalry, pull you back, because these are spears. Can we use our Ballista and Onager to hit these fuckers? We cannot. Okay. Cohort here. We could win very, very easily on our left if we're not careful. So, let's be not careful. Let's hit you fools. We can overwhelm their left, and then we can just make just beat it on down the line here. Hit, hit them here, come on. <clears throat> Ballista, what are you doing? Firing on these idiots. Okay, great. I need my missile units to hold, fix this flank while my infantry move into place. I do not want you to fire there. I want you to get in here. Let's have you def help defend here, otherwise we're going to be swamped. Good thing this is a crack legion, because I'm losing men. I'm hemorrhaging men right now. It's not that bad, but it's getting pretty bad. Okay, Cav, get behind him. Before you get stuck in those damn spears. I do have cavalry, but I'm going to be waiting until I can get them all around the flank. It appears as though I can now, so let's pull you this way now. Friends, you fire. Where? We're firing on my legionaries. We are with my ballista. Okay, let's get you here. Ballista and Onager, let's have you stop firing now. You're causing more, probably more friendly fire than anything. And I have a cohort that's surrounded. So let's get you slamming in here. You in here, this is what chaos. Oh my god. Very chaotic battle. Let's get you stuck in here now. And here. And actually, we do not need my skirmishers to be firing stuff. Let's pull you back now. Another cohort over here, which I do not need here. So let's pull you back this way. You have cav over, you have cav over here. Which is probably going to be in a bit of trouble. Let's get you moving. No sense having cavalry if it's not mobile. Let's pull you back this way now. This is my weaker cohort that got beaten up. <clears throat> but we are surrounding them in certain places. We are also getting uh, surrounded as well in certain places. So it's just going to have to be rescue this from the fire. Okay, the cavalry. Let's get you around here and kill these idiots quickly. And this is which group? This is this group also. So let's get you over this way and hit these fuckers in the flank. Let's pull you this way first, however. Why are you so far back? Did I pull you that far back? I didn't mean to. <clears throat> so with heavy flanks, now the question is going to be can our center hold? I do have another cohort coming back here. I know it's chaos, fellows, but we need to get going. You're a crack legion, you're Caesar's legions. You will do what must be done. I have a big gap right here, which actually you're going to have to fill. We are defeating this group. Oh, we have a group of spears in our rear. Shit. Where do they, where do they come from? Okay. Let us pull my skirmishers over here and hit them. The unit's broken and running around our rear. You were going to get hit on the flank. Let's get you here. Cav, you have broken that group. Let's use you to hammer an anvil here. This is a unit that's trying to get behind my damn cohort. Let's fire here, and then fire. Let's attack there. Three cohorts that are doing absolutely not a goddamn thing. Let's get you this way. You can get in this area. Actually, let's have you reinforce here. We're losing men. Oh my god, but it's necessary, I guess. Let's pull you this way. Horses. We're overwhelming them here, overwhelming them here. They're dying. And we do have that grip of this situation. It's just to have a lot of... A lot of messy shit around this. This group is broken, evidently. How did that happen? You are chasing these idiots. You're chasing these idiots. 
It really is the ground that I mean you can hide units fucking here, but I cannot hide cavalry in the trees. That is just ridiculous. I do not understand at all. We've broken them there. Uh, let's take care of these idiots. Get you stuck in here, moving this way, and moving back here. This has been a very interesting campaign, I must say. Kill the general, yay. We're winning on both flanks, which is quite interesting. Cavalry, let's pull you back. We have a unit that's going to cause us trouble. Let's pull you back this way now. We can mop up later, okay? Just need to win this. Let's get all three of you fighting here. Yeah, not a very... Tactically, it has made some sense, but really it's a big mess. I can't I can't be any more honest than that. I try, I try to be honest when I can. This is that beaten up cohort. Can you? No, we're going to we're going to kill these fools. They have cost us men and material, and so we will have to kill them all. Caesar, let's get you in here. Cavalry, let's get you in here. You, you might as well kill these fools. They're the closest to you. <clears throat> and you over here, let's get you stuck in here as well. Let's pull our infantry back so we can see where their men are. We can walk, however. We are. Just chucking stuff. You can not do that now. You actually chuck stuff here because you're going to get shot by those damn towers. And I hate that, so. They're like, oh, we're free to go. <laughs> no. Kaizeo, we're, we've got to kill the bulk of this army. We will have to fight them again, more than likely, in the settlement, so. Let's fast forward. Actually, I'm probably going to end the episode here, just because this is kind of probably kind of boring for you. I'm just going to do my best to kill as many as possible with my cavalry, and then hopefully take the settlement. So, friends, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am Atagadius Magnus, and I'm signing out.